Matthew Bowling, Texas high school sprinter, ran a 9.98 100-meter dash, breaking the national high school record. And uh, I think it's straight Jesuit uh, college prep in Houston, Texas. Hey, Matt, good morning. How much attention have you gotten since uh, setting this record? Uh, good morning. It's been a lot. Um, I was on, like, some sports center pages and, uh, like, meme pages on Instagram. But uh, it, it's been a lot. It's, it's fun. Uh, your nickname is White Lightning. Who, who gave you that? Uh, I don't really know. I saw it on, like, Twitter, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it was just, like, a random thing. Oh, so that – do you have a nickname? No, I don't. Well, we got to come up with one if you're going to run this fast, Matt. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I like it when other people give me nicknames. Okay, that's but that's the way – Usain Bolt never had a nickname. So maybe you don't need one. Maybe maybe you yeah. just say, no, I don't. I don't want one. I don't need one. Yeah, maybe maybe Matt or Matthew now, is good. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Matt is really crazy as a nickname. I think you go with that. Yeah, wild uh, nickname. <laughs> how would your time stand up to Usain Bolt in the Olympics? Um, well, that time was, I think they said it was point four, but um, for the 100 meter, that's, that's a decent amount. I still got a lot of work to do, but... Um, I mean, it feels good knowing, like, I have that potential. And if I keep training, like, I can get to that Olympic time. Would you have qualified for the Olympics with that time? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really checked that. I've seen some, like, videos of, like, comparing us, but I, I never really checked that. Now it's it's wind-aided? Yes. Okay. Does that diminish this at all? Um, A little bit. Some people try to make it a bigger deal than it is on social media like it it was a plus four win which means um like it obviously helps a little bit but um i mean it's it's still a good time i'm still happy with it and um hopefully i can have a meet where the wind is calmer so i can do it again yeah but matt the guys you were going against had the wind behind them as well you're not the only one who had wind behind you yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. And you still, they needed more wind, and you still smoke them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, they, you're a novelty. You know that when you step to the starting line. Uh, what kind of looks do you get or conversation do you get when you step to the starting line in the 100-meter dash? Um, I guess, like, when I get ready in the blocks, I'll sometimes look in the stands and see people stand up and, like, uh, get ready to cheer and, like, take videos, which is really cool. Um, it really pushes me, and, like, knowing that I have people who want to see me do well uh, helps me to do better. But what about your competitors? Um, they say anything to you? Are they surprised when they see you walk up to the starting blocks? Not really. We're all pretty focused, especially, like, with track. Like, everyone gets super serious, so no, but people try not to – say anything before the race but like after like we'll congratulate each other when did you know you were fast um well i started in middle school and i was i was pretty fast for a middle schooler but um i guess like when i knew like i had potential to be like really good was uh in high school i started running the 400 which is a little longer distance um and I was running good times my sophomore year, and then I just, like, kept sticking with it and kept working hard. What's it like to run fast? What's that feeling like that you just had in this race? Uh, it's really good. Um, getting up tall uh, in the middle of the race and just um, running to your max speed, and then when you cross the line um, and wait, like, five seconds to look at the time on the board, uh, and then you see, like, a new PR, or, like, a good time like that is just crazy. It's a really good feeling because, like, you work so hard um, since August to get to that point, and um, when you see it, it's just like, like a moment. Like it's it's really special. Did you play football? I did in middle school. I wasn't very good, but um, not in high school. Wait, I just send you on a go pattern. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, I need to learn how to catch a little bit. Oh, you gotta catch. You can run. You can't catch. Come on. Yeah. You're like Forrest Gump, though, Matthew. I mean, I'm just going to hand you the ball and you run. Run, Matthew, run. <laughs> yeah, I, I can try that. I don't know if it'll work, but I can try. 
Uh, what is what is the uh, strategy when you run? Like, do, do you know? I I remember talking to Carl Lewis that he knew the exact number of steps. I think it was forty four steps that he knew where he was in those steps when he was running a race. Is it that scientific yeah. for you? No, I can't really count steps. It's just too hard. Like it's really fast movement for me. So when I count steps, it makes me go a little bit slower. Um, but I guess like just like muscle uh, repetition, like muscle memory, um, you know, like how far like you're supposed to drive, like I'll drive for like 30 meters um, and know it's time to like get tall and get to my max speed. If you go to you're going to Georgia next year, right? Yes, University of Georgia. Okay, if Kirby Smart says, hey, Matthew, I need some help uh, wide receiver in the football team. I don't know. It would be, it would be hard to decline that, but I don't, I, don't think that, I don't think I would do well. I'm not that big. I'm like six foot. It doesn't matter. It hard. doesn't matter as fast as you are. <laughs> if they don't catch you, yeah. Matthew, it doesn't hurt. That is true. I don't know. Maybe I have to think about it. it. It would be great if you just showed up at fall practice and didn't tell anybody, just as a walk-on, and then you just started running. <laughs> yeah, that would that'd be interesting. <laughs> hey, congrats on it, and good luck at Georgia, and uh, continued success. Thank you. Really appreciate it. That's uh, Matthew Bowling, high school kid. Ran a 9.98. Wind aided, though. I like the haters were saying, wind aided! I'm going, okay. Yeah, like anybody <laughs> can do that with the wind. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. If you give me enough wind, I could run a 998. <laughs> for more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on VR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.